Today I want to talk about men's therapy. I would strongly recommend that you reach out and try to get therapy if you need it. More especially, do not have an ego. Do not think lesser of yourself because you're trying to better yourself. That's always a good thing to do. If you're a broken person and you need help, go get therapy. It'll help you. And even if you do feel that way, if you feel prideful, if you feel like you have an ego or you're not willing to accept that you need help, please, a lot of times it's confidential. They don't tell you anything as far as no one knows. It's only between you and the other person. There's so many broken men in this world and a lot of them need help. And I would strongly recommend, even if you don't feel comfortable going to a therapist, talk to a friend, talk to a coworker, talk to someone you can trust. That will really, really help you. Or especially if you want to continue with your life and do better in life. That's what we're here for, in my opinion, is to do better with your life and continue being a better person than you were yesterday. That is the real value of a man is don't compare yourself to other people or anything like that compare yourself to yourself are you better than you were last week are you better than you were a month ago are you better than you were a year ago that's extremely important and if you feel like you're not progressing or anything you need to realize why and sit down and have that conversation with yourself and look at yourself and create a plan whatever the plan is as long as it's not bad for you internally or externally or hurt other people or is illegal then it's fine but i would say that if you need help getting your thoughts together healing whatever it may have happened to you in your life it's extremely beneficial for any man to do so and if you're religious i'd also recommend going to a pastor or an imam or a rabbi or any of anyone else for example that that was that's in religious faith etc for that it's another way you can go about doing it is doing it through religious means if you do believe in a higher deity that is one thing that I'd strongly recommend you do. That way, if you are broken and you do realize, hey, I need help, then go seek it. It's okay. A lot of men have this pride and the shame to go do that. There's nothing to be shameful for. If you're having problems, say something. There's so many times in people's lives where they just don't say anything and no one knows. The next thing you know, they, they commit suicide and you're like, where did that even come from? And a lot of people that do that are suffering inside and they don't talk to nobody. They just, they have no one they feel like they can go to. So they suffer in silence. And that's not something that's good. If they're around people that make them feel alone, that is terrible. But there's one thing that I'd like to say. I was listening earlier to a show on YouTube that me and my wife watched. We watched the Rockstar show and Nikki Jam and Archangel was on there and he was talking about how this is in Spanish, so I'm trans translating it best I can into English. But he's saying, it's amazing the prison that we put ourselves in. You know, we, we really do. Like, we are, a lot of times, men are more hotter than themselves than anyone else. Like, you will tell yourself stuff in the mirror that you wouldn't let anybody else tell you. And that's a serious problem a lot of the times. Sometimes it motivates guys to do that. Hey, I need to get up and do this. But sometimes it's not. It's really, really detrimental to you and moving forward in your life to get better and do better things with your life. That's extremely important as men to do that. Because if you can't move forward, you constantly live in the past and you won't have a future. And you'll be trapped inside of your own prison that you built for yourself. And there is no time duration. You you stay there for as long as you want. Because you don't seek help or you don't ask for for help and that's that's extremely terrible for men or you go toward addiction there is nothing good with that either personally i've had a friend drink himself to death it's really hard for me to go visit him when you know visit his grave i watched him die it was one of the worst things i've ever seen you know from alcohol and he didn't know how to deal with his problems and then toward the end of his life when he was trying to sober up and get better he was one week away from getting a voucher from the VA to get his apartment and get a job and get back on his feet. He was really trying and his, his body gave out on him and he was 42 or 43 years old. So my thing is for this, if you know you have an issue and you're pushing everybody away, it's better to seek help and try to reinvent yourself. More especially this, in that frustration that you feel, in the pain that you feel inside of you, you could hurt a lot of people, and you may not even know it, but you're hurting people. And that is not a good idea, because even after you realize this, and maybe you have sought therapy, maybe you have talked to a religious leader, a friend, a co-worker, whoever, family member, and 
you realize, wow, I really messed up there. And you want to go back and apologize to these people. That's one hard thing you're going to have to accept is not everyone is going to be willing with you with open arms telling you, oh, I love you. Take you I'll take you back. Some people, they have nothing to do with you. And that's their closure. That's the way they can deal with it. And then some people, they will take you back. Some people will just listen to you, what you have to say. And that's their closure. And they may never speak to you again. But you have to deal with that because you caused it. So that's something that you got to do as far as if you if you want to reconnect and, like I said, make yourself better. Because a lot of the times it's for you to admit that you did wrong. And there's a lot of times in your life that you can admit that. But a lot of us don't do it. And that's not a good thing. Around other friends, family, this, that, and the other. It's extremely important to do that. You know, take responsibility for your actions. Once you turn 18, you are responsible for what you do. There is nobody else to blame. You know, you can go back and want to relive life with your mom and dad, no matter how terrible the situation was, but you cannot go back and live that time. You have to keep living. You have to keep moving on. And like I said, if you're broken, the best thing to do is try to fix it because you can't go back during that time. Like I mentioned before, the prison, you can't be trapped in your own prison because there is no duration of time. You can be locked in there for many, many years and not even know it. And you're just kind of going through the motions and destroying all the interactions around you. And to me, that is one of the most harmful things we as men do is a lot of times in society, it's looked at as a terrible thing, but it's not. Like I said, you'll have guys that don't say anything and the next thing you know, they kill themselves and you're like, where did that come from? Or what's going on there? Or how do they fall into that? You know, and a lot, sometimes it's really good friends and you're like, how did that happen? And it always starts with, you know, something inside that they just can't deal with or whatever, but they honestly need help. And that's one thing we need to do as a man is realize that that's a good thing to do is talk about what's going on. Try to fix yourself. Make yourself better than you were yesterday. Make yourself better than you were a week ago. Continually making yourself better. Pushing for that. Doing things. For me, it's my drive is my family. I have my wife and I want to make sure we have a good life. So I do the best that I can to keep doing that. You know, I did grad school. I, you know, all this stuff that I'm doing and I'm doing the best that I can to make sure that my family is successful. And I know that I'm a representation of that. So I don't want to screw that up. You know, that's a really, really good thing. You need that kind of passion somewhere inside of you to will the change. Cause sometimes it doesn't take until someone hits rock bottom and then they change. But sometimes they hit rock bottom and they never come out of it because they, they just don't, they just stay there or they pass away like that. You know, they, whatever it may be, depending on what it is. What I'm saying is it's very, very beneficial if you know for sure, if you can look yourself in the mirror and be honest with yourself and tell yourself, I have a problem. I need to, to get help. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing because you have you have enough pride to tell, hey, I want to get better. I want to do better with my life and I'm tired of this. That is something to be rewarded. And this is obviously a very serious subject. I plan on doing more, more of these as I go on. I have many friends, one of my friends in particular, He's an, he was an ex-addict uh, of two different types. I may try to get him on the podcast one of these days to talk about this in particular. You know, him and I have many conversations about that as far as how someone normal like myself would think and someone with his mindset would think uh, based upon different things. And it's very interesting. If you need help, seek it, if, especially if it's professional help. And as I mentioned before, there's nothing wrong with it. It's to better yourself. You want to be better than you were before out of your own prison that you create for yourself and with that being said y'all have a nice day and see y'all later